there really hasn't been any work on the two-state solution for roughly a decade. Obama was the last president who tried. He explicitly said that Israel should try to make peace based on the 1967 lines, but with land swaps to accommodate for the changes that have happened on the map since then. Netanyahu was very irate at that formulation, by the way. He never had a good relationship with, with Obama because of that. And then John Kerry, who was Secretary of State under Obama, made a major effort to try and bring about a two-state solution. And frankly, it went nowhere. And a big part of the reason why is that Netanyahu said that, listen, the only situation that's acceptable to Israel from a security standpoint is that we must control all security west of the Jordan River. So in other words, we must control security in the West Bank. And his argument was that, look, adjacent land is very important. If you create a Palestinian state there where they have total sovereignty over their own security, they could be digging tunnels under the wall. He basically said it could turn into 20 Gazas. And he's got his point of view. And, and when people challenged him on this, he said, listen, you don't live here. You know, we live here. We understand the security situation. That's what he said to John Kerry. So the whole process fell apart. And since then, the idea has been for Israel to move forward, again, on this larger normalization project with the rest of the Middle East, putting the Palestinian question to one side. The idea has basically been, listen, if you won't make peace with us, and this goes back to Arafat at Camp David, turning down the deal that was on the table that Clinton brokered with Ehud, Ehud Barak. If you won't make a deal with us, we'll just go around you. You're too rejectionist. You're too difficult. You're too hard to make a deal with. So we're just going to put that to one side. And that really has been the process for the last decade, I would say, since John Kerry's initiative fell apart. The process has been starting with Kushner under Trump, and then I think Biden tried to extend it by brokering the Saudi Arabia deal. The idea was, let's put the Palestinian question to one side, we'll work on these other deals. I think now that that process has fallen apart. So the two-state solution, that process died back in 2014. This idea of going around has basically fallen apart now. And so I think this is why people are pretty pessimistic about where things go from here is, mm -hmm. what is the process? And meanwhile, you have this hard shift inside Israeli domestic politics to the right. You've got these religious factions who believe that the entirety of the West Bank, what they call Judea and Samaria, is their God-given right. And if you go back to the Netanyahu's government forming in December of 2022, the first plank was to say that Judea and Samaria belong to us. We have sovereignty over them. We're not giving them up. So what room is there for compromise? And since then, they've been expanding the settlements in the West Bank. 